Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rat here from Ratko Tarot and uh, this is going to be Sagittarius Sun, Sagittarius Moon and Sagittarius uh, Rising monthly tarot reading for November 2018 and uh, while I'm shuffling the cards I want to remind you once again guys that this is just a general reading for Sagittarius star sign and it is not your personal reading Therefore, I will do my best here to explain you the meanings of the cards, their synergy in the spread, but it falls to you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation. Now, if you want me to do that for you, that will be a subject of a personal reading. And for personal readings, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings. Also, if you find these reports helpful and you want to know even more about your month, specifically career and relationship wise, uh, well, for the month of your star sign, um, there is a um, extended monthly tarot reading that can be purchased for just $1.49 from my website. That covers up a couple of spreads, uh, one for career and one for relationship for the representative star sign, in this case, Sagittarius. So let's see what we got here now. I, uh, the first card which marks the topic of your month, uh, that will be the Six of Wands. And the Six of Wands is a card of success, it's a card of reward, it's a card of recognition, it's a card of reaching certain milestone. However, after that milestone, a lot of work, it is yet to be done. <clears throat> but you are to be recognized as you are fully capable to proceed forward and to develop the thing to its very end. When we talk about the Six of Wands, we are talking about a peak of experience where you prove to your boss, for example, that you are the person they need, you are the asset that they were waiting for, you are the one who deserves that damn promotion. Or if we talk about relationships, this is the card pointing that you are going to have again a peak of experience people will like you you are to enjoy sex should you go for it as well you are to be recognized your efforts are gonna bear results the, the rewards of um, of your efforts this card also attracts a lot of helping hand people if you are struggling people to, um, are to see that you deserve someone to give you a shoulder to lean on you know someone to push you a bit forward so <clears throat> you are as well under the banner of this card you are as well to kind of like build up a, a very important connections communications and etc etc six of wands it's a very peculiar card it, not peculiar but it is a very potent card and in that specific case as well peculiar because um even though it signifies a a lot of progress um moving on forward it is just a, a step in your journey so the um, the work is far from over and in that specific case uh, you should not drop off your guard alright I mean you can take a bit of time to celebrate the uh, reaching of the milestone here but in the same time you need to remind to yourself that if you don't sustain your work your, it's going to deteriorate. Therefore, you need to keep up the good example. You need to keep up, keep up the good performance. You need to keep up the um, the socialization that you are doing. You know, interacting with other people as you are as you are to find out that you know people basically admire you. They want your company um, <clears throat> in your social circle, and you know there is. Uh, there is a fairly big chance if you are single as well to find a, a potential suitor for yourself. The next card is uh, the best possible course of action and how you can capitalize on the Six of Wands. And that will be the, the, king, the Queen of Cups and the first thing that you need to do here is do not blow all of your bullets. But keep uh, the aces in the sleeve and use them only when you think that you are to lose control of your of your situation. Also, this card here asks um, for a lot of empathizement. All right. So even though uh, you are to be an example to the people around you, you are to be admired. You are to be pointed as a um, 
as a, a criteria you should also remind to those people that you are basically a human all right and uh, uh, they 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 can achieve your heights and your greatness as well the queen of cups is also about planning so be very careful what will be your your step moving on forward you should not rush it at any point even the six of wands is a card of action that doesn't mean that this action should be irrational premature and frantic you can take your time and that is very essential here to take your time and to plan very carefully your next move especially if your next move is um, <clears throat> from emotional nature like moving toward a suitor uh, making up into one relationship uh, creating a new enterprise uh, into your relationship which is meant to basically consolidate it and to quench it as well etc uh, etc et uh, but the very least this card points that you need to use the momentum to start fulfilling uh, the emotional holes the emotional cracks that you do have within so you can find your emotional state very solid so you can nurture it and cherish it and so you can find yourself transformed the next card is um, pointing to the challenges which are to cause predicaments and this is the dynamic of the time this is the the fast flow of events which is to happen and the only predicaments which this fast flow is uh, creating for you is uh, kind of like self-imposed regret and anxiety that uh, things aren't gonna work out and here on an example for that comes into my mind but it is more like a, a gamering example so I will restrict myself from giving it and I will try to make up a, a another one alright uh, so uh, let's say that it is about career and uh, you are developing a certain project with uh, with people and basically you are not on the leadership position here uh, and and these people are not calling you for whatever reason you know to take participation into that project here and there um, but uh, th this is through the dynamic of the time and what this card is pointing that if you are patient enough and you know when to shoot your aces and your bullets uh, definitely you are going to benefit from the situation so the ch the, 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 the real predicament is again being frantic and being very impatient premature and uh, basically uh, act like a fool excuse me for that term but it's <clears throat> It's what it's what came to my mind. Also, um, for some reason, uh, your pride is going to be a predicament as well, um, especially when it comes to personal interactions. Uh, you may find it very difficult to say "I'm sorry," even um, even if you know that this is the right thing to do. And it is never wrong to say "I'm sorry" if "I'm sorry" is gonna make is gonna make to feel the other person better and therefore is going to improve the state of the relationship either personal or a friendship one the next card it is pointing to the resources that you can capitalize on and that is a, a very good card guys because uh, it synergizes entirely with the six of wands because this is also a, a finalization of an a, important cycle of development so what happens here is is that you can rely on a previous achievement of yours to support your ideas to support your actions to support in general you know your plans uh, and uh, if ever someone doubts in you all right you can bring back the time or kind of like roll back the tape and remind them that last time they were doubting you they were the one who um who were uh, who were mistaken at that specific time so what I'm trying to say here is, is that you can rely or you can utilize the resource of um, well that was in the bring of my mind um, of self-confidence all right it's kind of like a resource that uh, you know what you are doing even though if people doesn't understand you you know what you're doing and people need to trust you so that will be the resource the trust of the other people that you are fully capable to um, restore your relationship for example you know to um, 
advance with the project which is given to you into your career etc etc the four of wands also points that you can uh, count on the resources of your friendships you can definitely count on your friends no matter how little or how many they are you can count on them to kind of support you through a hard time and also the other resource is your key nine for minor for minor details therefore um, it is highly unlikely that throughout this month of November there will be an, an important matters in your environment, career or relationship that you are to overlook. So <clears throat> you will be able to see the situation with its full uh, in its full picture, in, in, in basically in its um, in its full unfoldment here. And the last card that we do have for you, Sagittarius, is this is going to be the final outcome, and that is going to be the star card. The star card, it is the hope, it is the end of the tantrum era, it is the end of the turmoil, it is basically the renewal of, of one's hope, it is the unfolding love that one is expecting, it is the thing that one needs to start looking for, looking forward to, excuse me. So that card is, uh, it could be the sign of the long-term project, that card could be the sign of the a long, long-weighted love that... Uh, you wanted to have at your side the so desired support that you needed so you can proceed with your project it will be different for every single one of you depending on the situation you are finding yourself but the first thing that you need to start doing as soon as the month embarks and as soon as the month starts is to create a, a plan for yourself how to capitalize on this milestone that you have reached and that people are recognizing you as a very important asset for uh, <clears throat> which is going to make you again attractive in into the social environment that could attract uh, suitors or uh, it, it will also make you look like a uh, exceptional asset for one's business that could give you a prerequisite of making um, of being promoted and either way this is either you finding the unfolding love you require or the uh, long-term project uh, pros prospect excuse me that you can start looking forward to so that being said Sagittarius says uh, this was your monthly tower reading for November 2018 I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and uh, again this was just a general reading for Sagittarius star sign and it was not your personal reading therefore I did my best here to explain you the meanings of the cards their synergy in the spread but at the end it forced you to make sense of them and to align them to your personal situation now if you want me to do that for you that is a subject of a personal reading and for personal readings please check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you are to find a full list of my services as well as their pricings right signing out now see you next time bye